Yo, what's up guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So in today's video, I'll show you my new and improved free FPS boost pack. So this pack will increase your FPS, decrease your input delay and latency, and also decrease your ping slightly. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. So if you want your PC to be completely optimized, then make sure to check out exmtweaks.com. If you notice a big difference using today's free tweak pack, then I'm sure my premium or standard tweak utility will help you much more. It will overall make your PC feel way smoother. Your FPS will be much higher, your delay would be way lower. It will just overall make you a much better player, but yeah. We have a lot of reviews on our website and Discord server, so just make sure to check out the reviews. So yeah, let's just start the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is join my Discord server, discord.gg slash exm, or just go to the link in the description. And here just scroll down to the free tweaks category, and here download the free pack version 1.08. And right click on this and press download and it will download it all right so i gotta download it just go to your downloads folder and press extract all extract all right so it will open it like this and now we can start so the first thing you want to do is go to start so simply just uh make sure i'm just gonna say this beforehand since some people didn't get this uh, the last time every single batch file should be right click on and ran as administrator so like this boom and uh, if it says the operation completed successfully then you're good all right so first you disable uac and you also make a restore point so yeah this may show some errors uh this only shows errors if you already have them enabled since some people may have restore points disabled and the values enable them and it shows an error of course if you already have them enabled so yeah i'm just gonna skip to when the restore point is done Alright, so the restore point just finished. So, this is after you already do the tweaks, but if you ever want to, like, revert the tweaks, then use this, just run it, and it will open this little menu, choose a different restore point, and go to EXM restore point, and use that. Just press next, and then finish. Uh, this will just revert all the tweaks. So, let's just start with the tweaks. So, the first thing we have is GPU category. So, I added uh, the AMD category in this update. So, you simply right-click and run it as administrator. I won't uh, press continue since I don't have an AMD GPU. Only do this if you have an AMD GPU. So if you don't know what type of GPU you have, go to task manager, search your task manager, and go to performance, and you can see NVIDIA GeForce RTX. I have a NVIDIA GPU. So the way you do it is just simply run all of these as administrator, and yeah, the same with NVIDIA. So you just run this, this will apply nvidia profile inspector which is basically optimizing uh, your nvidia control panel but in a more advanced way so you can see it applied and i'm gonna just do the same uh, with i'm gonna just do the same with all of these so yeah after that we have mouse and keyboard optimization which you just run this again which you just run this and simply here you select what tier your pc is Basically comment your CPU below in the comment section and I'll let you know if it's a high-end, low-end or mid-end CPU. Uh, other components don't matter in this exact tweak. So yeah, just let me know in the comments and I'll answer you. But, but uh, I'm just going... So after that we have power plan which you simply just run apply EXM power plan. And uh, also delete other useless power plans. This will delete the default ones. But I don't, I already have them deleted, so it may say the, they don't exist. And you simply just click on um, selected, and maybe if you have like more power plants, just delete them. But I'm still gonna use my premium one since it's uh, still a lot better than the free one. But yeah. Uh, if you ever want to revert it by adding back the original power plants, then just run this. So after that, we have clean, which you simply just run this. And uh, this will show you how much megabytes of temporary files are. This will just show you the amount of temporary data that is on your PC. This will just show you the amount of useless files that are on your PC. Press, simply press OK and it will uh, start deleting them. I already did this today so I'll just close it out but you should just wait for it to finish. 
After that, we have device cleanup, which you just run this. Control A, devices, remove selected. And that's literally all you do. So after that, we have window settings, which first we have animations. Uh, and simply open performance settings and copy my settings exactly. So you just press for adjust for best performance first, then custom and smooth edges on screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. You don't have really have to have these selected, but uh, they're just nice quality of life things and they make your PC look a lot smoother. So I keep them selected. So uh, disable setting synchronization, just run this and uh, do the same for all of these. I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna try to like make this video as short as, po as, short as possible since there's a lot to it. Like there's a lot of stuff in this. It's actually probably the biggest update I've done for my free pack. So yeah, uh, on the same basis, you just do my register tweaks. You run all of these as administrators. So boom, and I'm just gonna speed this part up and skip to when I'm finished. So I'm just going to skip this part since it's all just uh, running everything as administrator. But yeah, after that, uh, when you finish registry tweaks, make sure to run all of the files, but yeah, just press on dbloat, which is a completely new category. So the first thing we have auto runs, so just run this and make sure to go to logon section right here, logon section and uncheck everything except your antivirus, uh, CMD should be checked and uh, these NA files. The rest of this like Google, uh, Discord, Epic Games Launcher, all of that should be unchecked. So it won't start up when you turn on your PC. After that, we have disable extra unnecessary services. You, can, you just uh, oh. Run this, boom. Same with printing. Oh, why am I so stupid? Same with printing, you just run it. As well as Xbox. And after that we have uninstall uh, unnecessary Windows apps, which this will simply uninstall a bunch of pre-installed Windows apps, which probably nobody uses. They're just, I don't think I've opened a single one of these. But of course, uh, there's reverts for everything here, so you don't have to use a restore point. But yeah, uh, I already have all of them uninstalled, so I'm just gonna skip this. And yeah, after that we have Fortnite optimization, which uh, first you just run Fortnite high priority. If you ever want to revert it, then here Fortnite normal priority. And then we have this, which isn't necessarily a tweak, but you can just check this. Uh, check your real Fortnite ping. So just I'm European, so I'm just gonna press this and this directly pings the Epic Games services and I live in Slovakia, which is kind of far away from the servers, but you can see my actual ping is 34 to like 32 or something like that like the mid 30s and uh, a lot of people don't know that the ping that is shown in Fortnite at the top is not completely accurate but yeah and you can see uh, my average ping is 34. But yeah, after that we have Fortnite settings, which credit to Telantro for making this little app, it's very useful. But you can see, basically copy my settings, uh, the resolution and this can be yours. I recommend always using performance mode and audio quality should be low. So after that we have Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, which this is quite a complicated one, but I would recommend the use I would recommend using this on off if you don't want to test it, but if you want to test it, uh, then try and on or try and on plus boost. And if you don't notice a big difference with your latency, then just keep it on off. But for me, I have the best uh, results currently on on, so I'm just gonna use on. And just press apply and you can freely close it. All right, so here we have the network category, so you simply just go here and first make a restore point, which just run this. Uh, but I'll skip it since I already made one. But after that we have disable Nigel's algorithm which uh, this enables TCP no delay and in very simple terms it just lowers your network latency and it may, may decrease upload speed by a very small amount but it's worth it, trust me. So just run it, uh, same with DNS priority, run it as administrator and uh, then uh, we have this and just run that as well. Okay, so yeah. But that's not everything for um, the network section. I'm just going to do one more thing, which I wanted to make a separate video on this, uh, the best NIC adapter settings. 
but I'm just going to add it in this one. So you're just gonna press uh, Windows and R, go to Control, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Ethernet, Properties, Configure, and Advanced. Of course, uh, this may be different for you if you have like Realtek or uh, Intel or whatever. I have Intel, so th these are my settings. But for um, there's a lot of stuff like green Ethernet and a bunch of stuff like that, and you should disable it since it's a power uh, it's a power saving feature. And all of those which have like power in them, let's say idle power down restriction, should be always disabled. And also these wake on magic packet ones should be disabled, and always have your uh, speed and duplex where is it speed and duplex on the highest one possible my motherboard only allows me to go up to one gigabit but i just keep it on 2.5 gigabits per second because why not but uh then we have an arp offload this should be disabled jump out packet should be disabled and yeah you can just press ok after that and close it and for if you're on wi-fi there's kind of a similar thing that anything which has like uh, power saving etc in it you should just disable it but after that uh, we have uh, a network priority tweak this also works on Wi-Fi as well first uh, you enable QoS driver like this and uh, you can close it after that we have GP edit which just press open GP edit and if it opens this window you're good but if it doesn't just uh, go here control a control C uh, run CMD as admin and paste these commands in. Uh, and just let it run don't close it as me because I already have GP edit so I don't need to do this but you're just gonna run GP edit like this go to Windows settings Policy based QoS. I already have it here. I'm just gonna delete it uh, for the sake of this video so I can make it again. And here, just press uh, create new policy and name it whatever you want it to be. So, uh, let's say I just want it to be Fortnite. And make sure this DSCP value is always on 46. So, 46. Next. And only application with this executable name. So I already added like what uh, from my analytics I can see that most of you guys either play Valorant or Fortnite. So I'm just gonna put Fortnite in it. And go here. And make sure to make this TCP at UDP. And then press finish. And you can see you have your policy. If you want to make more of them you can. And if you want to revert this then simply just right click and delete it. But yeah. That's everything for today's video. Sorry if it's kind of scuffed. I just don't have a lot of time uh, to record videos. Because I know I said this video will come out yesterday, but I just didn't have time to edit it. Also, if you want to completely optimize your PC, completely optimizing your PC, then make sure to check out my website, exmtweaks.com. But my premium or standard tweaking utilities are literally the easiest way you can get your PC tweaked. And it's not like a one-time thing, you can literally just tweak your PC every time you reinstall Windows uh, without paying an extra amount like a tweaking session. But yeah, I have over 250 reviews. So yeah, if you ever just want to have your PC completely optimized for the lowest possible input delay, latency, uh, highest possible FPS, and also a slight ping decrease, then just uh, check it out. And also a lot of people have been asking me how to pay with PayPal. So you just use this link and you can see uh, you can pay with PayPal here. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.